NASCAR playoffs are here. Are we finally going to get a charter agreement announced this week? Oh, who knows? And two drivers that I'm telling you right now, yep, they're going to be in the same rides for a long time. Three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Hope you're off to a great week. Hope you had a great Labor Day weekend and uh, got to enjoy it and uh, have some fun. Hope you enjoyed that racing this weekend at Darlington. I mean, um, pretty interesting finish we had going on there. Pretty interesting to follow that playoff hunt, see who was going to get in there. And Chase Briscoe just coming in and wiping out all chances for everybody. But uh, pretty, pretty dramatic ending to that race. And uh, man, I enjoyed it. Um, and, uh, you know, now we got to move on to this week because the playoffs are here. And uh, the news that's coming out today is that NASCAR is really, really close to having this charter agreement done. They want to get it done before the playoffs start. And uh, that's for many different reasons. Um, but uh, I'm going to be very interested to see if this does happen because it, it's kind of ironic that it's happening right now at this moment uh, for different reasons, which we're going to get into. But Denny Hamlin, Denny's been really vocal about the situation that's been going on. Uh, a lot of the other guys we really haven't heard from as far as where they stand, as far as the charter agreements. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. There's talk about that some of the teams might sign, other teams might not. They're going to hold out, negotiate a little bit more. That could be interesting if something like that does happen. Um, but one of the things that really interested me was that NASCAR Productions was out there filming for the Netflix series this past weekend. They were focusing on the cars that were on the bubble to make the playoffs, um, which obviously one of them cars was Bubba Wallace. Um, and with Denny Hamlin being so vocal as he's been, uh, there was a little agreement in this clause about them, or a little clause to the agreement about them filming them out there. And one of the things was that if they do not reach a charter agreement, that the teams could have the, uh, the footage of their cars and their drivers pulled from the series uh, and that leads me to believe that that's probably Denny Hamlin who was out there with the pen going, okay, we'll do this, but this is the way it's going to be. And I think that was leverage for him uh, to maybe get some things more the way he wants them, or maybe they all want them that way. Who knows? But uh, but just very interesting that the timing of this right now, the timing of the filming, uh, what's going to transpire. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Now, I do want to talk about two drivers today that uh, – a lot of people talk about, especially here recently, um, about where they're going to be, if they need to be replaced, if they're going somewhere else and all these things. And we're going to start out with Denny's driver, Bubba Wallace. Uh, you know, Bubba's obviously caught a lot of flack, a lot self-induced, different things that have happened over the last couple of years. Um, but, uh, you know, it's interesting here recently because the way I judge things is off of stats and uh, momentum. And right now, Bubba Wallace, has got the stats and the momentum over the last part of these races here recently. Um, and, you know, and that's very interesting to me uh, because one of the things that he's come out and said is he has got off of social media. He's not focusing on what everybody out here is talking about and the bad things that are being said. He's focusing more on racing. Um, and I appreciate this about him. I think maybe the situation at home uh, and everything that's going on in his family life has made him realize that, you know, there's a lot more to life. And uh, with that, He's able to focus more on his driving abilities. And it showed. It's really showed here. Over the last eight races, Bubba Wallace has got five top tens. And two of those have been top fives. And uh, he also got taken into consideration. Michigan had a good run going. Was kind of in the hunt there and uh, having a good day. Got in that uh, incident with Kyle Larson. But um, still, was having a good run. And then this past weekend at Darlington, he was up there running pretty well. Up there in the top ten, uh, you know. Didn't look like he was going to win the race, but was giving himself opportunities to make the playoffs had Chase not won the, the race. But still, um, just interesting stuff for him. And again, I'm going to this momentum because now we've reached the playoffs. He does not have to worry about winning a race to get into the playoffs. He doesn't have to worry about making points. He can just go out there and focus on driving. And when you look at it, um, you know, let's just take this year alone. And let's take the races that are in the playoffs right here. Oh, we got Atlanta. And Bubba had a fifth-place finish at Atlanta earlier this year. Martinsville, he had a fourth-place finish at Martinsville. And he also got Kansas in there, which is the track they got his last win at. 
back in 2022, but yet he still has one there, so he knows he can do it there. So if he can continue this momentum right now, it's pretty impressive. You, you have to say it is pretty impressive. Sorry to hit my microphone there. Um, but you got to say it's pretty impressive uh, what he's done here. And if he could do that all through next season or through a good portion of next season, he could point his way in easily. But you know he wants to win. 2311 wants him to win. So interesting stuff to follow right there. And also outside of that, sponsorship. He's got great sponsors. I think they're behind Bubba more than anything else. Um, you know, I think he's he's brought stuff to the team as far as sponsorship like that that's been spread amongst the team. Uh, so I, I really think, that Denny and, and Michael look, him, look at him as an asset, and I just don't see no changes. And one of the other interesting things is we, we hear a lot about the conversations between uh, Bubba and Michael, the text and things like that, things that they do divulge to people. But I think there's a lot more. I think there's a lot that we're not privileged to hear in the talk between them. And uh, I really just think Michael Wal or Michael Waltrip, yeah, that would be interesting there. Michael Jordan wants to uh, really see Bubba succeed. And uh, I don't think he's going anywhere, folks. I think he's going to stay right there. And uh, he continues this momentum. Who knows what's going to happen? Now, the other driver I want to talk about right now is uh, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch really come into the news after the talk of Corey LaJoy being removed from the seven car. And, uh, you know, for a lot of good reason. He sold his truck team over there to Spire. There was a lot of, you know, conspiracy about that's the perfect place for him to go. He's not having a good run over there at RCR this year. Everything's falling apart. But then things change. You got to look at it. Austin Dillon goes out there, wins at Richmond. Kyle Busch been running really good. They've slowly turned that organization around. And when you look at Kyle Busch, uh, you know, you take, you go back to when he lost his ride at Joe Gibbs Racing. There was a lot of, a lot of worry. Where was he going to go? A lot of, just a lot of talk. A lot of people had speculation about things. And I said back then in an episode, I see him going to RCR because I just felt it was the right fit because it's a it's a heritage type team. And I think with his, as long as Kyle Busch has been in NASCAR, he appreciates that. And I think it was the right fit. I think they, they still got a right fit. And you got to look at it. I mean, Richard Childress and Kyle Busch got into a fight and now they're fighting for each other, with each other. And, and that's that's something that don't happen a lot. So... Really cool situation for them. Uh, but again, you look at this momentum and uh, you go to, as we go to Atlanta this weekend, I mean, Kyle Busch had a third place finish there. So I would not for one second doubt to see him in victory lane this weekend with the momentum that they've got. And again, he's another driver. You don't have to worry about no, no playoffs now or winning to get in the playoffs. So he's just focusing on winning the race. And I definitely know he can get it done. Um, and I think it could happen. But one of the other things that come up about this was about Spire and his son, Brexton. Kyle Bush's son, Brexton, because I brought this up and I've heard other people talk about it. Uh, because this is a, a good avenue for Brexton to progress up through the ranks of NASCAR. Um, so it would make a good fit for that, for that uh, perspective right there. But I'm going to say this much. Brexton is a hell of a driver. And he's proven himself all the way up through right now. I don't think Brexton is going to have any worry about getting a good ride. Um, and I think when I'm saying good rides, I'm talking about Hendrick, Gibbs, 2311. Uh, you know, a lot of these people, I think, are going to be after him when he comes up through. And I don't think uh, necessarily Kyle being over there at Spire is going to be his only avenue he's going to have to come up through. So, and then you got to look at Kyle's over there running with Spire now in the trucks driving for Richard Childress. So if he wanted Brexton to go over there, I'm sure the opportunity would be open to have both of them guys driving trucks for them and uh, being successful together over there at Spire. Well, he's still at RCR. But uh, just interesting stuff. Uh, but again, Kyle Busch, in my opinion, be back in that eight. Bubba Wallace, being that 23, both of them for a long time. And um, I think they're going to be successful. I think that's the way it's going to be. Because uh, momentum, and they got the momentum right now, and I don't think it's going to change because they have nothing to worry about right now. We're going out and trying to win races. But anyways, I want your opinions on this. Uh, what do you? I mean, and when I say your opinions, not just saying yeah, Bubba don't need to be in that car. I, I want to. I want you to say, well, here's the scenario. 
this guy could come over here, bring the sponsor. This could be a, a great team. Um, or you could say, you know, hey, Bubba does have momentum right now. He, he's got some good things going on his side. And who knows? Because if he can continue running like this and finishing like this throughout a good portion of the season in 2025, he's going to be a contender. So, uh, man, there's so many unknowns right now. But that's what I love about racing. But anyways, yes, I want your comments. So throw them down there. And uh, let's talk about this. And, and man, I've been telling y'all, I got some really cool things I've been working on. You can tell. I haven't been just pumping out episodes here recently. I'm working on more some documentary type things and just some really cool things I'm taking my time on. But I got them coming, and I really think you're going to enjoy them. So, But anyways, once again, hope you're having a great week out there. Throw them comments down below. And man, as always, we'll see you at the checkered flag.